Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is what happened yesterday afternoon, 5 p.m. Nesto was back in a hearing with Judge Manning. It was a bond reduction hearing on some of his additional cases. Nesto Correct, is Judge. still We're sitting at a okay. pretty high bond. Rondon, you ready? We'll talk about it at the end. You guys must be leaving the jail. I'm sorry. We'll try to take y'all, get y'all taken care of quickly. All right. So on the add-ons, uh, one through five, I think. One through four. One through four. Uh, 22 CP 210 500. There's, uh, right now I've got 610 days without indictment. There's a $5,000 good bond on theft by deception. 22 CP 211078, 610 days, $15,000 good bond on three counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. Then on position three, 22 CP 212559, 610 days without indictment, a $25,000 good bond on one, two, three, four, five counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. And then on position four, 23 CP 215407, uh, 610 days without indictment, there's a $700,000 good bond on for CWAC charges. Wow. Yes, Your Honor. 20 cycles with a rest out of Georgia and Kentucky, a 2006 felony conviction for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, theft by receiving stolen property, also a 2006 conviction for false statements, and a 2005 conviction out of Kentucky for bank fraud. In addition to the cases on the calendar, there are three additional open cases, Your Honor. A CWAC case under 23 CP 219961. Death by deception, three counts. That's under case number 23 CP 220091. And the third case is death by deception, financial transaction card for it, three counts under 23 CP 220152. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, go ahead, Ms. Rondon. Good evening, Judge. Um, for position one on the add-on calendar, um, the state and I have been able to come to a consent bond. Um, so for 22 CP 210500, the bond that we've agreed to consent to is $3,000 with the following conditions. An ankle monitor to surrender uh, his passport and to have no contact with the named victim. Position two uh, for 22 CP 211078. We've consented to a 9,000 total bond with the same conditions as the previous case. Ankle monitor, surrender the passport, and no contact with the named victim. For position three, which is 22 CP 212559, we have agreed to a $15,000 total bond with the same conditions, ankle monitor, surrender passport, and no contact with the named victim, um, and also no contact with Erica Hewley um, or AKA Erica King. Um, and then additionally, Judge, for position four, which is 23 CP 215407, the last time we were in court for this case, the state announced that it was dismissed um, through a decline to prosecute. And so, um, I'm a little confused why this case is back on the calendar. I didn't see a dismissal on this one. Your Honor, I can speak to that. As to 23 CP 215407 at our last hearing, the state did move to null process or to decline those that particular case. Uh, we will just revive that case in an indictment. Okay. So, okay. So, sorry, was the dis? Because I didn't see the dismissal filed yet. Um, I w I did not file one, Your Honor. Should I send you a? Oh, okay. No, as long as you file, because I looked at it today and I didn't see the indictment. That's why. Okay, so. All right, they'll dismiss it. Now, sir, just so you know, um, they can also, uh, if she says they're going to revive it in an indictment, they could uh, indict your case and then uh, re-arrest you on a grand jury warrant, just so you know. 
Okay, and I don't know about the case in front of Judge Edwards or the other indicted cases, if you've got bonds or what's happened with those. All right, Judge, best of luck. Judge, uh -huh. Clarence, for the consent bond, will Miss Rhonda be preparing those consent bonds and submitting those to the court? And then uh, Ms. Robinson, you read my mind. I was about to say I can prepare them and submit them this evening. Okay. And then for the case, I know she said the dismissal order for position four. Is Ms. Winfrey going to submit a dismissal order um, for that one? Just so we have something. Otherwise, the case is just going to stay open. If Your Honor would prefer that I send something, I will do that. Okay. Let's see. What is... Yeah, or... Will it be something you need me to sign? I don't think those get signed by me, do they? No. Well, and... First, to prepare it if it's a if they null process it, but okay. Right. Well, if it's something you need me to sign, if you just want to email it to me, all right. So, like, like I said, if they do an indictment, they can do a direct indictment and issue a grand jury warrant. And they can rearrest you on that. I don't know the status of your other cases because you have some indicted. I know there's one that's in front of Judge Williams, so um, this won't have any effect on any of those. Best of luck to you, sir. You can leave the booth. Your Honor, that concludes my business. May I be excused? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. All right. So have a good evening. All right. We got position. Okay, guys. There you have it. So the charges where there was a reduction are the conspiracy charges with Erica King. Also, they discussed the CP charges that were dismissed on February 5th. Turns out that Deputy District Attorney Erlene Winfrey had not filed the papers for the dismissal and there was some discussion regarding that and also that it could be revived through a grand jury indictment, which to me sounds like the case isn't completely dead, which we've discussed that. So interesting turn of events, what was kind of said, not said. Number one, this hearing basically was a reduction in bail. So that did happen. Um, and also to clarify the dismissal of the CP charges, which we now know didn't happen and could come back through an indictment. They didn't say will come back. They said could come back. So we'll talk about this later. Anyway, thanks for coming through. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video and make sure to hit the like button. See you next time. Bye.